Hey guys, hope you're having an incredible day. Today is gonna to be a little documentary of how we're able to get our little chicks in with the big chicks. Now, right now, <laughs> right now what I'm doing is just, I'm in here with a little one. This little chick, that's the first time in the coop. What we are doing is just trying the hands-on, get her done, quick and easy approach to this. Normally what we would do is basically we would either take the kennel that the chicks are in right now and put it into this area, or we would integrate the chicks in the chicken coop at night. But I'm here with the kids in the backyard. We're having some fun here. And so we wanna see if we can just get them to kind of integrate together um, with us being in here. So that way we can stop any trouble if there is some. Um, but saying that we've got seven new chicks to add into the five little ones, I think they will be okay. So um, let's, uh, let's just continually add more and more uh, because of right now they are, they're doing just great. Right, buddy? Finger is a worm. Yeah, they will think your finger is a worm. All right, so I'm gonna spread a little bit of food around for them. Okay. And Sterling, do you wanna get the other ones out? Mm -hmm. Can't get them. Get oh. the nope, we don't want them all over the yard yet. We will lose them pretty easy. Raleigh, you're licking your chops, huh? What do you think, bud? He does pretty good with the chickens. Come on. Come on. I want to. Okay. That's two down, no problem. I want to do one. Whoops. I want to do one. I want to do one. Get them. Can you get it in there? Yeah. Can you yep. get me one for me? A perfect landing. All right. Three of them are all good. Adeline, do you want to get? Hey, do you want to get that one? Mm. Also, they will oh. run faster. Also, they get to run faster <laughs> and get more good moves. Adeline, get it. Get it, Adeline. Be slow. Get it? There. Mm. Sterling, get it. Now go right here. Oh. Uh oh. What are you doing? Come on, buddy. I'm going to have to get him when he gets out here. Give it to me. Give it to me. All right, put them in there. What are those chickens eating there? They love that seed. Oh, is that a milkweed pod? Yeah. It's great to see the little chicks already digging around. They, they're capable of finding their own worms in the dirt and everything already too. And uh, they're doing a really good job whenever I let them out in the backyard. So I think they'll do well in our, in our uh, chicken one? coop area. Oh, you trying to get a chicken? Yeah. Daddy, I'm in there, okay. 
Oh, you got another one in there? Good job, buddy. Wow, they're so happy. Uh oh. Uh, grab that one, grab it. Get us, Sterling. Give it to me, give it to me. Okay. I got the last one. Last one gets stuck in all the right. hole. Is that all seven of them? We've got one, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, Good little three, chicks. Four, all right, now let's go six. collect them some roughage, okay, guys? I don't know. I thought this was supposed to be harder. Um, harder than this. How are they now friends? I don't know. I guess you just... They just think they're going to grow up. Just check out their initial reactions. And um, they've all been really, really integrating quite well. Like kind of just ignoring the other ones for the most part. And um, I think they've already accepted them as one of their own. I mean, even our dogs, like... Our dogs are incredibly good with the chickens too, just through being around with them. <laughs> Dance. And um, so we're all good to go here. And now we're gonna just collect some more roughage, I call it. So basically weeds yeah. from the backyard, instead of trying to destroy every single weed that we have grow up here because it's an impossible task and an impossible chore to keep up on. What we will do is, as the weeds grow up to a certain size, we're just going to pick them and use them to feed to the chickens. So, we got thistle. Look at the fire. Oh, I know one that they would walk. Thistle. Thistle and dandelion greens. Not worried about the roots because as they regrow, that's just more food for the chickens. And uh, they love this stuff. So I threw this in here all the time. As you can see, uh, they just kind of dig through it and start eating what they want. And eventually they go through it all. So every day I get pretty, pretty massive clumps of it put in here. And as you can tell, there's only today's left over. All the rest here, they just eat it up within a day. Some other examples, we've got wild lettuce. So that's not dandelion and it's not thistle. It's a different different type of plant here. Um, we've got curly dock back here. Curly dock, I could eat if I wanted to. Same thing with the dandelion. It's actually very nutritious. And then we've got wood violets here. You know, you can actually make um, Kool-Aid. So these are edible. Um, you can eat these. You can actually make like a... Uh, almost like a kool-aid out of wood violet so like a wood violet tea perfect give that right to the chickens and so they will eat some wood violets too as much as i hate to pick them because of how beautiful they are in the backyard i will do that every once in a while to give them a nice variety of food so we're just take this over here They're pretty full from today already, plus uh, with the kids in there, they're not too comfortable right now. Another thing that I will give them is like out of our herb bed, so our, like cam uh, chamomile, lavender, uh, mint, lavender hyssop, apple mint, all this kind of stuff that we've got growing here. If I've got sage, uh, this is a wild mustard plant that popped up here. I'm gonna pick that out because I don't want that to spread too much. And um, here we've got weed growing in here too Ugh. boy that's a that's a big old clover oh my goodness look at that root huge all right get that out of there um basically all of our herbs 
dill, whatever, whatever else you might be growing. Um, and then we've got some sweet potatoes that are gonna be growing in here. All of this stuff in our herb beds will also go to the chickens every now and then. So that amount of roughage will be enough for about two or three days before they go through all of it completely. Of course, with the addition of the food that I've got inside. So right here, I've just got a five gallon bucket with some holes in the side. So it continuously fills up as they eat it. Check if we've got some eggs for the day. There's some two eggs today. We just picked them all yesterday. So two of them in there today. Hey bud. And then one of the kids' favorite things to do is to roll over the logs that we have edging our flower garden bed and um, pick some worms out of there, pick some bugs, centipedes, slugs, <laughs> whatever they find under those logs. Every once in a while when they're backyard having fun, we will do that and um, feed that to the chickens as well. You ready to come out, buddy? Our little makeshift door it actually works pretty good up until i get an actual door built and and no we don't just keep our kids in the chicken coop they were just in there while i was putting the little chicks in don't you worry i understand they gotta clean up and shower very good after this you guys find any more yeah cool do you want to go throw them to the chickens Go over by the chickens and throw them. Dad, can you show them how big of a hole I did just to find the worm? Just a second. <laughs> See, they love it. Absolutely love insects and bugs, worms. Oh. <laughs> And take a little pause in the video to let you know of a link that I have down below for Convoy of Hope. We're trying to raise $20,000 this month for Convoy of Hope, which is an organization trying to stop world hunger, helping those in need, and creating better communities around the world, filled with hope, joy, passion, and love. Convoy of Hope has trained to this day over 16,000 people on how to become better agriculturalists in order to pro provide for their families in places where they had not had that ability in the past. Therefore, not just giving man a fish, but teaching a man how to fish, which is actually so, so incredible. And one of my number one passions in life is teaching other people how to grow their own food. So Convoy of Hope, actually feeds over 500,000 people every single day. And with 3 million children starving to death through famine and hunger every single year, I think that is a cause that is absolutely worthy of our attention. So check out the link down below. And if you feel like you should give to this cause, no matter what the dollar amount, please, please do so. And I wanna thank you so much. You will touch a person in need today. And that's how we did it. We took these chicks, which are about a month and a half old. We got them in the coop integrated with the other ones. They're out here in the chicken run, just having a good old time, eating, drinking, fully integrated. We didn't have a single issue whatsoever. And we're done. That's it. It's so simple. So sometimes your chickens might act a little bit different than ours. If that's the case, like I said earlier, something you can do is just take your uh, chicken, your little chick pen, in, case, in this case we had a little uh, dog kennel here, and you could put it right in with the chickens, right in there for maybe a day, two days, and then they would get used to them at that point. Another thing you can do is take your little baby chicks, put them inside the chicken coop at night, so when the chickens wake up, 
they see that they've got some new buddies overnight and they just won't think anything of it. That's something that people will typically do otherwise. But in our scenario, I just went ahead and did it. I just threw them right in there and had a good time. The number one thing, and I say this all the time, is just to make sure that you're having fun when you're with your livestock, with your animals, in your garden, whatever it might be. Make sure you're having a joyous time. Make sure you're passionate about your, what you're doing because otherwise, why are you doing it? If, if you're just doing this strictly for money or financial purposes, it's just not gonna be nearly as rewarding as having a good time, right? So that is ultimately what life is all about. I wanna thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for taking another peek at our chickens here. Uh, they absolutely love it. I think they're so, so happy with this new setup that we got for them as well. So um, thank you all so much for watching. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you as a viewer and as a friend and family of the Expedition Homestead uh, YouTube channel here and all of our other social medias as well. Don't forget, we're on TikTok, we're on Facebook. So go ahead and find us there. Thank you all so much for watching. Happy gardening and we'll see you in the next one.